Welcome to Columbia 47. The remote village of Santa Fortuna awaits you deep inside the Colombian rainforest. An iron-fisted Delgado cartel rules over the village and its surroundings. Security around Santa Fortuna and the closed-off cartel compound is extremely tight. Armed Sicarios patrol the streets of the village, ready to enforce harsh punishments to those who do not comply. Rumors persist of hidden transportation cave systems connecting the village, the cartel compound, and the hidden coca fields beyond. It is a rare occurrence to have all three cartel leaders present in the village at the same time. Expect that all targets are protected by scrupulous killers armed with automatic weapons. Rico Delgado inhabits his fortified mansion on the outskirts of the village, while Andrea Martinez can be found in her village office or around Santa Fortuna itself. And Jorge Franco is engaged in development of a new drug in his field laboratory. Happy hunting, 47. like this. I mean, he's only the biggest celebrity tattoo artist in the world. Maybe he's here to see that Delgado guy we've been hearing about. Sounds like he's got money to spare. Ooh, could be. <gasps> Lucky guy. I wish I could afford one of his pieces. Ah, his work isn't that impressive. All he does is to touch up and cover up the is P Power, real name Paul Powers, celebrity tattoo artist and reality TV star. Absolutely the worst. Is that so? Well, it's this Rico Delgado character, isn't it? I'm supposed to be on my way to do some sort of tattoo cover-up work. Could be worse. You could be lying dead in a ditch somewhere. Well, shit, that's the problem, isn't it? Did you know he runs the biggest drug cartel in Colombia? I've had experience with the Delgado family in the past, yes. He's one of the most dangerous men in the country. One false move, and I'm dead. I think you're right about that, sir.
Dexy, it's me again. Dexy, it's... Dexy. Dexy! Damn it, can you hear? Oh, this damn music! Dexy, hang on, I'm heading outside. Stuck in some tequila bar. Power guy? Hang on, man. I hope you don't mind, but we need to freeze you. And if you want to pass, I need to look through your pockets. There's no two ways about it. You're entering the lion's den, 47. Tread carefully. Uh, Practically no everyone here is it. dangerous, not least Rico Delgado himself. All right, you're good to go. Bongale, Follow bongale. me to the house. Mrs. Delgado wanted to meet you. She's a big fan. She'll take you to Rico afterwards. Uh, the celebrity tattoo guy is here. My sister got a tattoo once. It was supposed to be a tribute to her son, but the guy fucked it up. The big Gustavo ended up looking like a dead chupacabra. When my brother-in-law saw the tattoo, he went down to the guy's house. Shot him dead. Which was kind of dumb, because he was the only tattoo artist around for a hundred miles. That's quite a story. You bet. That is Catalina Delgado, wife to Rico oh Delgado for the past 11 Thank years. You, Rico Guerres, oh, it's really you, big power. It's such an honor to meet you. I just love your show. That episode where you tattoo the heart on the arm of the dead dying policeman while they're administrating CPR, <laughs> it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. A great moment. I cherish the memory to this day. <sighs> See, so, Rico has this tattoo on his neck, and he insists it's supposed to be based on a photo of me. I'm not a fool, Mr. Powers. My nose never looked like that, not even before the operation. And sure, I've had a few ticks done here and there, but nothing as drastic as that. I want you to make it look like me, not some young skank. I'll do my very best, Mrs. Delgado. Ah, oh, Chico, let me just grab a quick selfie with you, all right? Sure, why not? Yay! <laughs> just look this way. Oh, okay, see, wow, we look so good together. This is great. Hey, babe. Hey, baby. So, this is the famous P Power. Tattoo artist to the stars. Huh. You don't exactly look like you do on TV, do you? There's something uh, different about you. Cariño, don't insult our guest. He's obviously not been sitting in a stylist chair for days, but this is P Power. Who else would it be? Well, what about those cheekbones? The guy on TV didn't have cheekbones like that. Hey, Rico, enough. You know they fix all that in post-production. Just let the man work. Okay, fine. Whatever you say. Okay, I'm ready. Let's get this thing fixed. What are you doing this just to annoy me, Kat? What? Am I not allowed to update my social channels anymore? Is that it? It's very distracting, Kitty Cat. 
Please stop now. I'm sorry that my social life has ruined your concentration. Whoa, hey, Rico, don't worry. I've got this under control. Hey, the two guy. I'm watching you. One wrong move, he'll have us and you hear me? Hey, relax, Jose. We're fine. Just doing what's necessary, Rico. You're making me nervous, Jose. Put that thing away. I'm sorry, but I'm just doing my job, Patron. You need to keep still, Mr. Delgado. I wouldn't want to stab you by accident. You heard the man, Carolina. Leave us now. Fine. Have it your way. But that tattoo better look exactly like me when you're done with your new BFF, Rico. Calm down, all right? Everything's okay here. Better safe than sorry, boss. You're taking it too far, Jose. No guns. No, 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 no. I'm not willing to take any risks here, Jefe. Hey, Jose, I need you to leave us alone now. You're too wound up right now. You understand? All right, boss, all right. But I'll be back in a little while if I don't hear from you, boy, one. Oh, finally. So peace and quiet. Can I finish my work? Oh, man. You heard that? Go see what it was. I don't like surprises. Can I finish yep. my work? Work now. <laughs> do what you do best, man. You got it. Uh-huh. Rico Delgado has been eliminated. Nicely done. Javier stole the love letter Hector Delgado wrote for Martinez. Had to jump out of a window before Hector discovered him. I think he hurt his leg in the process. Yeah, I heard. He even passed the letter around the basement bar at the party last night. Weird to think Hector and Martinez used to be an item. I mean, he's batshit crazy. She's so hyper luxurious. She can't even stand to be in her village mansion for too long. Talk about an old couple. Yeah, I love to see her face if she ever found a letter, though. Rumor has it, she hates him. That's my impression as well. Sad for Hector. He's still crazy about her. You need to be extra careful around the family item. Mr. Delgado got some important pictures on things like that. to see somebody doing their job. You notice how Rico's been acting? Not usually brutal this part. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Stay sharp.
anything from Hector through. But what did I just find? A letter. Were my instructions not clear? Yes, Mr. Martini. Very clear. I don't know how that happened. Well, make sure it doesn't happen again. Burn everything that even remotely smells like that idiot. Got it? Yes, Mrs. Martini. Ah, to hell with it. Let's see what that fool has to tell me. Fool. I had no idea you still felt this way. Maybe. Hmm. But has he really changed? One thing to say all these things, these wonderful things. Another is to have actually changed. We did have some good times, Hector, it's true. But you're just too dangerous. A loose cannon. I can't trust you to do right by me. And yet I do feel some of those old emotions as well. No. No, I can't do this. This has to end. Better to let this letter and your words end up as food for the piranhas than let my heart end up there. We're through. Martinez is down. Good work. See the poster? Guess it comes with the territory. Rico Delgado, come you're down to us. Really Gosh oh, darn it. Hey, what's up, man? Sit down. Relax. The universe will correct itself again, right? I don't know, man. I've been, like, smuggling this cocaine souvenir around the world, right? I need to get it to this dude, uh, Franco. Man, it, it broke. It's supposed to be in one piece when I deliver it over by some cave entrance behind the pharmacy, but it broke. Bummer, man. Maybe just glue it together? I don't know. I think it's gonna ruin the taste test. This Franco guy is like a bloodhound, but, you know, with taste, not smell. You know? Yeah, man, that's too bad. I'd still try the glue, you know. Wow. Hey, is something trying to be funny here or what? It'll just take a second, man. All right, cool. You're clean and good to go. All right. Mr. Franco is expecting you in the caves below. I'll just radio the others. Hang on. Groovy. It's Carlos. Tell Franco his guest is here. Nice day. All right, come with me. Try not to get lost, okay? 
Play this kind of dangerous. I'll do my best. I thought your hippie types were only into the softer drugs. I'm surprised to see you working for Franco. I live by my own rules. This kind of work sort of breaking the hippie code. Peace and love isn't really my thing. That's not the right guy. Ah, so, despite an annoying delay, it's finally here. Let's have a look. It got through customs without a problem, we hope? I had no issues. Excellent. We're not sure whether this will pass the taste test, but that remains to be seen. Follow us, please. Great to see somebody doing their job. This baseball bat was for a long time All targets time. neutralized. This should paralyze the cartel. Excellent work, 47. Now head for an exit. Hey, sir. You couldn't get out of my face.